Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. How are you doing today? Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. A lot of you have asked me about, hey, what's it like to own a small apartment building? Uh, while I was going through my records, getting ready for taxes for 2021, I actually uncovered a report about one of my 10 unit apartment buildings. So what I did is I went ahead and scanned it. What we are gonna do is we're gonna look at the income and expenses from a 10 unit building in 2020. So this is uh, two years old. Uh, I haven't yet gotten the report for 2021, but uh, I will shortly actually sent off a note. Uh, so what you're going to see, so a little bit about this building. It is a C-class building. Uh, it is 10 one-bedroom, one-baths. Uh, it is um, been in our portfolio since 2000 and I'm going to guess 16, might be 15 probably 15. Um, what else do I want to say about it? Uh, we picked this up for a cheap price. I think it, this is the one that was vacant. So we had a bunch of remodels to do. Uh, but yeah, this is 2020 to January 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. So uh, it is, um, I guess, is it two years old? I guess, I don't know, one year old, whatever. Let me just bring it up. So again, uh, here is the report. I went ahead and uh, blacked out the address. Uh, I guess you can almost still see it though, but oh well. Uh, so uh, again, just kind of give you the lay of the land. This is a report that I get from my property manager. It goes by month. Obviously there is a total there. Uh, then what you have, just to give you a lay of the land. So this has a lot of section eight in it. Uh, you can see that line here. Can I highlight? No, I can't highlight. So section 84104, that's the code inside the program. Section eight, you can see the monthly totals. I guess it ranges from probably, yeah, 3,000 bucks up to 3,600. So we, we probably had some turnover or adjustment. Uh, the next line item is other income. This is obviously cash, if you don't know. Uh, so that's the cash total. Uh, you can see here, going down the line, we have some rent concessions. Uh, this actually happens to be a building where we own uh, buildings side by side. Uh, so it's, we don't have to, but we chose to uh, give uh, one unit away for an on-site manager. Uh, so they, we give them a rent credit of 475. Uh, so that's the negative number there. So you can see the income in 2020, which probably means the units average maybe 550 a door. Because uh, again, it's small one ones in the C-class area. Uh, but it was rising as we were headed into the end of the year. Uh, again, this is 2020. So a lot, some of this is COVID. So some tenants were paying, we couldn't, for, we couldn't at, um, evict. So there's, there's some lack of payments or lumpy payments in here as well. Uh, but this is so, not so much about the income, but the expenses. Uh, you can notice here that the income is roughly 70K, right? 69,722. Uh, you can see we had some gardening, very little actually. That probably was, I'm not even actually sure what that was, but we had one, one fee. What would that be? January, February, March, April, so in May. Uh, we had some legal. Uh, this were, these were probably Section 8 um, inspections, would be my guess. Uh, again, this is a couple of years ago. Um, we had some management fees. We spent $5,000 on management fees. Um, really, we yeah, five thousand dollars, and then there was some rent up fees in there. Uh, we had to buy some appliances. Uh, looks like the big one was seven hundred dollars. That was probably a new fridge, I would guess. Could be a stove. Uh, that's basically what we do there. These other things, I don't know what these little charges were, but uh, that is what they are. So again, we spent about fifteen hundred bucks on that. Uh, we do have an alarm at the building, right? For um, uh, for the laundry area. Uh, we had a break in years ago. So there's a alarm there. Um, I don't know what that charge is 455. It was probably, we probably put in the alarm is probably what that was. Uh, yeah, that's probably what that was. And um, we paid in two installments. Uh, you can see we had some capital or AC expenses. Again, Fresno, if you don't know, it gets really hot. Uh, so we had to put on um, some new uh, heaters. Uh, looks like we had, if my guess is we had four of them go. Uh, and again, this is a 10 unit building. So that's, uh, that's pretty expensive. So we had 5,000 bucks in new uh, AC or heaters. Uh, we had some general repairs. These aren't too bad. This 1200, I'm, I'm fairly certain was um, probably a roof, I would guess. 
1283. Yeah, probably these two were combined. I think an AC it probably might have been a swamp cooler went out, damaged the roof, but we had a dual pack or uh, we had some dual repairs. Uh, what else did we have? Some electrical issues, unit clean. Yeah, we had some turnover. Not too bad for the turnover, actually. It's probably two turnovers. So you can see the total repairs here. 2200 bucks was a big month, as was December. That is mainly ACs. Uh, we had a plumbing problem. Looks like we had two plumbing problems. Uh, again, this these are uh, we had to um, this yeah this had to be um, probably waste I would guess uh, could have been a water leak but I'm gonna guess these were waste. Uh, we had a couple of different plumbing leaks. It's an older building. Uh, it has um, it's had a couple of challenges. Uh, but yeah, you can see that that is there. We do pay for internet service, but that is only for uh, the alarms and lights. This is not for the building. This is for the uh, on-site manager so they can get access to the systems and applications. I don't generally give internet access to the building. It's just another thing to break, another service call, things of that nature. Uh, one thing to watch here is because it is a 10 unit building, we have a lot of utilities to pay. Look at that, we spent 5,600 bucks on water. And then we spent, um, I don't know, 600 bucks on electricity. Gas and electric is for the uh, laundry area. Uh, but this one is water. Water is something that we pay for. So 6,200 bucks in utilities. Uh, you can see here that we spent roughly $30,000. The only thing in here is not taxes and insurance, right? Mortgage payments, PITI. A lot of you talk about what does it take to manage a building. So if you take the 296, 29, uh, you add on taxes and insurance of about six grand. Uh, you get about 35,000, maybe 30, let's call it $36,000 in expenses. Uh, so you take $36,000, you divide that by 70 grand, which is our total income. So here we go uh, 36 divided by 70 equals. 51.4%. So my expense ratio is about 51%. This is not including principal and interest. A lot of you have asked about uh, what does it take? And as I've said, um, when I'm evaluating a deal, I always assume expenses are 50%. That's the operational expenses that includes property management, includes taxes and insurance. It does not include uh, principal and interest that is to the side. Uh, so again, this is a building, 10 units, C-class area, small one ones uh, we've owned for quite a while. And still, we've had 50%, 51% expenses. So again, a lot of that in there. Again, some of this is property management. I forget how much property management was. Uh, actually, let's go, let's go look at that one more time. What was property management? Because this is something that um, like the Lumberjack and Dion don't so I had 5,000 in uh, expenses. So if we were to take that out, so that 36 becomes 31. Let's see, 31,000 divided by 70. Yeah, that's 44%. So under the 45, uh, a lot of you asked that question. So again, when I look at an apartment building, I don't care what the owner says. I assume 50%. Then I need to figure out what my principal and interest is. Uh, I try to work my best to get it down to 45. Uh, if I get below 45, that's awesome. It's tough to do. Uh, a lot of these people looking at different apartments, they talk about 35% expense ratios. I have never seen. I don't think I've had one year in an apartment building where my expense structure was 35%. So that's what I got for you. Hope you found that valuable. Again, uh, this is from 2020. I've asked my property manager to get me a report since ownership, maybe I thought what we would do is we look at each year of ownership and see what changed. Uh, so hopefully I get that sometime next week and you can look forward to that. All right, take care. Thanks.